Hello everyone and welcome back to some more Oxygen Not Included. The insane difficulty ravaging hunger mode. Um We made it cycle 48 and we didn't have any deaths. Well we had one death, but it was stupid. It's just the guy wouldn't eat, so I rolled it back to a load. Like I had the food and like I moved him on top of the food, but he just he wanted to go do something else. And then he died on his way to that because he because he wouldn't eat. So I did reload that and then after the reload he ate for whatever reason and he survived so we did have that little hiccup but i think it was just kind of some kind of priority bug with the game so i don't mind reloading that um what else is going on as you can see we've expanded our millwood by quite a bit because i wasn't actually um was it actually sustaining with four dupes so i, I planted enough millwood or three dupes and then I thought this bristle blossoms would take care of the fourth but I did the math on it apparently I need 11 fucking bristle blossoms to support one dupe so that ain't happening uh, we've set up a little dump for our polluted water over here we got rid of the algae terrariums because they were causing a lot of polluted oxygen to float through my base and I've actually got some slime kind of close to my edges here around these areas so uh, I didn't want that interaction going on, so I just got rid of them because for some reason the dupes to hate emptying these bottles. Let's see if I can find it. They hate emptying them unless you sweep them and like make it a high priority. So, yep, uh, we got our bathroom being built here. We've got our mess hall, and this is supposed to be a great hall, mess table, decor item, twenty plus decor, and a recreational building. I don't know if. Maybe the water cooler doesn't count as a rec building. I th yeah, no, I think the water cooler does count because I had it in my last great hall. Maybe the bluff briar doesn't count, even though it does give 26 decor. So I, no, I'm not really sure why this isn't a great hall, but a mess hall is going to be fine for us as we're up to you know eight eight freaking morale already, which is pretty dang good. I get rid of this water cooler, but eh, whatever. We do have our cold generator going down here, so we're not going to be running on the wheels as much. I'm setting up a little food room here because uh, I had some food starting to rot, and I moved this down here. And, like, this is fine, right? It's in carbon dioxide, but problem is people will, like, go to the bathroom and then, like, run down, grab food, and run up, and they'll be starving the entire time. It's like they have to make too long of a trip to go eat, so I'm going to move it. I'm going to move them in here. Actually, we could... Just do one like that. And there we go. Alright, what else we got going on? Uh, we did unreveal, or unreveal? No, we revealed this volcano, rather. Well, not a volcano, but it's a leaky oil fishery. And that's kind of like, in, in a, like a normal base, I'd be like, yes, oil. I don't have to go all the way to the bottom of the map to get oil and make plastic. Woohoo! But this is like the most worthless thing ever. In, in this base because I want like water and and other things like I don't I don't want this but I got it so maybe we'll start making some plastic earlier rather than later I don't know uh, we do want to get in here and get these reed fibers which we can do because the slime is let's actually start that right now slime is non toxic uh, but we do have well, we do have the polluted oxygen problem. Maybe we wait. No, we'll just we'll just dig up the lake right here. That that works for me. And then uh, well, once we get our doors, what are we researching? Uh, vental. Oh yeah, that's right. So I can pump the carbon dioxide up there. After that, maybe we'll go for doors. Um, there's quite a few things I want. Honestly, I want decontam. I want generic sensors. So I'm not burning through coal. As you can see, I have max power here. I'm not using it, so it's kind of... I wish there was a way to like shut this off a little bit better than what it's doing, because I'm wasting so much coal, I bet. Um, I mean, I've, I've got a little bit of coal, but not a whole lot. And I am worried about my dirt. Now, I have tons of dirt right now, but this is a lot of millwood. Like, I don't think I've ever grown this much millwood at a base. So I, I, ideally, I would like to swap over to mushrooms like immediately, 
because one one of the problems I didn't foresee with all this much millwood is that it takes them a long time. It takes them a, a lot of a lot of their uh, scheduled time to go and harvest all this and then plant and then fertilize and stuff. So it's kind of a pain in the butt. And they like they don't have a lot of time to do other things. So, but I do have everybody on. I, I changed the priorities a little bit, so I put pretty much everybody on max priority for farming because Mima just couldn't handle it by herself. So I just said, you know what, everybody, you go pick your own food, and and then you'll have something to eat always. And as you can see, I'm starting to build up a little surplus, um, except for Ruby here, who was our operator. But we could actually bump that back down because. Um, We've got the coal generator now, so good stuff. Um, what else we got going on? Did I change anything else? Not really. I mean, I, I just lowered pretty much everything else to the minimum, and that way I can have a little more control over uh, who's doing what, when. As, I, as you can see, the morale is up to seven for everybody, so... I could start pumping people over to this tier two pretty easily, which I've already got one over there. I don't know that I need, you know, we could throw Ruby over there. That's fine. Let's, but what is Ruby? That's what we got to figure out. Ruby is our operator. Oh, okay. Well, okay. Let's throw Ruby over the operator, general engineer. There we go. Perfect. Uh, what other thing I did was I was having trouble with meeting my scientist morale before, like I was three out of four on Mima before I actually built this mess hall. Uh, so what I did was I took the schedule here and I put the up the downtime up to three, which uh, if you look here, it in three shift break is a plus two morale. If I took it down to two, it would be a two shift break, which would only be plus one. And I imagine the more you go, the more it adds, which is kind of nice. One other thing I did was also I moved the downtime away from the bedtime. So it's like in the middle of the workday because I was having food issues where like there was millwood that needed to be harvested, but it was just sitting there because everybody was either sleeping or on downtime or in the bathroom. This way it's a little more split up, so the millwood gets harvested a little a little bit better. And I actually have tons of millwood here that needs to be put into this. Hurry dupes, put it in. Put put the stuff in. Anyway, um I, I kinda wanna look to get shrooms going like pretty quickly, honestly. Um the problem is gonna be slime, obviously, but I do have uh, I've got some bleedstone, I've got some chlorine, chlorine up here, chlorine over here, and then chlorine down here. So I could potentially do some sort of uh, chlorine storage for that. We're not going to put any food in this yet because uh, we need to let the red, the red look up. We need to let the rest of this get built so I can you know, climb down here if needed. Not that I actually need to be climbed down there. But I don't want anybody getting stuck outside or anything, so we'll just let all that finish. There you go. Dig it up. Dig it up. Oh, crap. My shine bugs can escape now. Um, so maybe we should priority to bathrooms, because that's going to be a nice little another morale boost, and that'll let me get up to the next tier. I can mine abyss lights. I can empty pipes. A little more building. I don't know. Maybe we'll go there. Maybe we should just plant some more uh, bristle blossoms. Bring in another dupe. Because really, I don't know if I want more mealwood. And I'm pretty sure I don't have enough to sustain a fifth dupe yet. I mean, I've got excess, right? But that'll slowly go down and then I'll be starving again. So I need to plant more of something. If I could like trap these shine bugs, or maybe, maybe I'll just make like a grow room with with some lights, some powered lights here. Okay, we've got a gas pump, so let's go ahead and Venturino. Bring that there up. I guess we should do something like 
Yes. There we go. <laughs> Give me that carbon dioxide, baby. Yeah. And it'll it'll take a while, but we'll, we'll eventually get it built. We've got a lot of build jobs right now, so kind of need to well, auto. Oh, everybody's trained on Gopher right now. Um, kind of want to just put him in the build position here. There you go, Otto. Wait, is he? Oh, he's already trained in that. Okay. Well, let's just leave you there for now. Uh, mm, they all suck. Yeah, get back. Uh, research. What do we go for next? That's that's the big question, isn't it? I kind of want to go for distillation, but decontam is also. Let's go decontam. Yeah, decontam will be fine. We can uh, start poking in here, get some reed fibers. That way, we can start mining slime and growing mushrooms. That's kind of our goal. Our ultimate food goal is a mushroom farm with slime. But that is going to be it for today's video. We're doing pretty well. I'm actually surprised. We, I, I think the um, the hardest part is just the start, just getting enough food to sustain. But once you have enough food, then the hard part is keeping enough food, right? Making sure it doesn't die off, making sure you always have fertilizer and water and what else you need. That That's going to be the hard part from here on out, just managing that. Um, but yeah, the beginning part of Ravaging Hunger is just getting those first freaking millwoods growing so you can have enough to support every do. But we managed to do it, and we're on cycle 50 here. So yeah, we're... Well, you know what? I'm looking a little bit optimistic. I think I think we can make it past 100 now. Before, I was like, yeah, I'm, gonna, I'm probably going to be dead by 100. But, but now I think we can make it. So awesome. Uh, if you're enjoying this series... Leave a like, leave a comment. Thank you for watching, and everybody have a wonderful day.